how to fix a shaky voice plus emergency hacks that works for me all the time. Please do hit that like button before we begin and comment below because it really helps out my YouTube channel and I can make more free videos such as this. Let's get right into it. So first we're going to warm up the face and an easy way to do that is to recite your vowels. So A-E-I-O-U. Make sure you over exaggerate each letter so you're really stretching out your mouth and then relax. So A-E-I-O-U. Relax. A E I O U. Relax. A E I O U. Relax. Sometimes you can't just go A E I O U <laughs> and you'll look really weird. So, quick emergency hack is to go ahead, grab your thumb, and squeeze it as tight as you can. It's better if that hand is hidden away somewhere so that way people don't know and it doesn't look weird that you're squeezing so hard. What that's going to do is cut off your blood circulation a little bit. It's almost like taking an Advil and thinning out your blood momentarily. I did this right before going on stage once and people thought I was the most relaxed person ever but little did they know holding on to that thumb really tight. <laughs> Tip number two is to warm up your tongue. I did a whole entire video on how to warm up your tongue and I'm going to link that below in case you want to go into details about it. However, a quick one to do is to close your mouth and roll your tongue all around. So something like this. Sometimes you can't just be rolling your tongue around <laughs> while you're talking to other people or if you're in a social setting, right? If you are able to, and it's socially acceptable, chew a gum. There's a reason why people chewing gum looks so confident. It's a therapeutic way of relaxing your facial muscles, your jaw, your tongue, all at once. But people don't notice, they just think that, oh, you're chewing a piece of gum. You can chew a gum right before going on stage, right before presenting something. It's a great way to just simply relax your whole facial muscle instantly without doing all of these exercises. Tip number three is jaw relaxation. I talked about this in my video of how to stop mumbling, so I'm going to link that video down below on the clear speech series. However, a simple hack is to just go ahead and use your knuckle in order to scale down if it's your temple. For most people, it is their temple because that's how we chew and our jaw is being used a lot, so just hold it there. Or sometimes it's all the way down here, under the cheekbone. But wherever it is for you, just find that point where it hurts just a little bit and hold it there for 10 seconds to help relax that jaw muscle. Emergency hack! Sometimes this looks obvious because for some reason you actually can't hide your hand and it looks a little weird. So I actually dig my nails in and by doing this OK sign, People don't really notice it, even if it's out there in the open. I'll do something like this, right? And I, I don't know if you can see, you can't really see, you can't really notice. This is more of an evolutionary biology hack, but what you really want to do is create pain for yourself. And physical, actual pain that's happening can override social pain. Because the reason why you're so anxious and nervous is because you feel like there's an emergency happening. You feel like the tiger is about to chase you, even though clearly you're not in a situation like that. But biologically, you do feel that way. So to give your body an outside pain, I know that might sound weird, but just by pinching. Granted, you just you got to really dig in sometimes depending on how nervous you are. But just by doing this, and it's so, it's not noticeable. It really isn't and you can casually do this and have your hands out and people wouldn't even notice that you're actually digging deep down into your skin and your brain is focused now on the pain of your nails digging in. Your brain is now going to focus on the immediate need, the biological immediate need that something is wrong here. Something is happening to the thumb that I need to pay attention to over what I think is happening over here that's causing me anxiety, that's causing me to be nervous, that's causing my voice to therefore become a little bit shaky. Tip number four is doing a tongue twister warm up. So I do 
bunch of videos on how to warm up your mouth with tongue twisters. I even have an advanced tongue twister video. I'm gonna link that below. However, if you want to do a quick one, I like you know you need unique New York. And you can say that over and over 10 times and that's gonna help you tremendously just to warm all of those muscles up at the same time. But if you do have the time, you should click on my advanced tongue twisters video. It's only about four minutes long. And if you have four minutes to just do that, you're going to be sad. Look at the comments in that video. People, people will tell you it's a workout, it's a workout. Another emergency hack is secretly biting your tongue. And it's the same exact concept as doing your nails in your thumb. So maybe for some reason it's obvious or it doesn't look that great. Make sure you look in the mirror and practice this before you go ahead and do it in real world so you don't look like <laughs> something weird. But just bite your tongue and the more you could bite it down, the more your brain is going to notice that pain. And that pain of your tongue is going to override the perceived pain of the situation that you're in. Comment below, let me know if you're loving these <laughs> quick emergency hacks because it's something I added in last minute just to see if it would help you guys because ideally you want to do the warm-ups before but I know sometimes you're just in the situation and you notice that your voice is shaky and you need to do something right then and there. You can't walk away and do warm-ups and I totally understand that because I've been in situations like that multiple times and these are my personal hacks that I do while I'm out there socializing and I'm able to attack life, right? So comment below, let me know if these are actually helpful for you. Most likely you have a shaky voice due to a specific event and how you feel about it. So you're feeling a little bit nervous, you're feeling a little bit anxious, whether you're presenting something or going for an interview, going on a date or going to a networking event is a common one. Final tip is to do box breathing. I did a three minute quick video on this. So feel free to go on the link below and check that out. It's literally three minutes and I breathe with you. I guide you through it. But real quickly, the box breathing is simply that you imagine a box, right? You inhale for four counts, hold for four counts, exhale for four counts, and again, hold for four counts. You definitely want to do it a few times. So repeat it over and over and over until you feel a lot more relaxed. So there it is, the five tips on how to fix a shaky voice plus emergency hacks that I personally use all the time. Comment below, let me know if you like the five tips or the emergency hacks that I laid out. And please do hit that like button because it really helps out my channel. Hit that subscribe button if you like more free content like this. And I will see you on the next video. Remember, go out there and raise your vibe.